Four. Four. You read correct, guys. Stevie and I, we're having a baby. Boy, would you believe? Today, we are going to do our last, probably one of our last anyway, oh, trips you're... without a baby. <laughs> Yeah, we're all gone. Today's little episode, we're going to do a little bit of a backcountry trip from Kenilworth through the uh, yeah, the backcountry and make our way here back to Enmore Forest. And I kind of wanted to show Stevie because you haven't been here, hey? Yeah. We are at camp right now and it's super nice, but let's wind it back to Kenilworth this morning because, let's be honest, you can't go past Kenilworth without stopping in the bakery. Welcome back to Animal Forest. We intend on exploring a little more of this area. What's the map say? Is there another one? Mac and Natasha are currently overseas, which means Stevie and myself are taking what may be our last camp trip alone ever. <laughs> Welcome to the open road. Hi. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. A little red light on it. What does that mean? Oh, it says it's recording. That's what it is. How's the belly? It's good. No kicks today? Not yet, but I'm just having a coffee, <laughs> so it might wind it. <laughs> we just stopped in at Kenilworth to the bakery, of course, as if you can come through here and not do that. We've decided not to go to Balumba today. Not to the creek, I mean. We're going back through to Emmamore Forest. On the road less traveled, we're in the back country. I've never even been here before. Nope. This is Acro. It's very green, I like the greenery. And see what we can find on the way. There's a bunch of creeks and Stevie's already seen two camp spots that I didn't even know about. This morning I actually put up a question tab on the Instagram story. Thought I'd go through a few now on this drive out because we've got about half an hour to go. Hit me Stevie. Brandon351 would like to know your current camera combo and which editing software you like using. Well, right now we're using a GoPro, but normally I use the A7 4 which is a Sony camera and quite an expensive thing but it's extremely good and if you want to know everything over on the bonus vlog I did a whole video on this next from Josh Clover heard much on the condition of Morton tracks at the moment Morton tracks I assume right now they're actually quite easy because it's been raining non-stop normally when it rains on Morton all those tracks turn into two-wheel drive tracks because the sands super hard Budget Build Series 3 from Steak Sauce Yoda. Budget Build of 3, Sammy Isles, he did want to um, organise a third series. Keen if he does that. We're all very busy this year, so hopefully we can sort something out toward the end of the year. We'll... Yoda also said more trips in the nav. Here's a double questionnaire. Okay, yeah, we're in, a, we're in the nav right now, actually. Doing a little bit of a local trip. Um, Explore.sessions asks, any big camping trips planned? What's your bucket list destination? Great question. Bucket list? Oh, you know what? I've actually ticked off a lot of those recent. Bucket list is going to have to, because I just did Tasmania and then before that Cape York, so now we're going to have to upgrade all the way to WA. I think that northern coastline of Western Australia, just in general, is going to be a bucket list item because it's so hard for us to get there. And we haven't done it. And we haven't done that yet, so... But we did love WA South yeah. Coast. It's just so hard for us to get there with all the gear, you know. But in about two months, we'll be with the boys in the Simpson Desert. Going to check out the Fink Desert race. Going to maybe come home through the Flinders Ranges. So massive, massive trip, that one. Who are the boys? Cooley, I believe, are coming. Maddie and Blake. And I'd say a few other boys. But, yeah, stay tuned for that. That's going to be... Buddy, that's going to be a trip to remember. Luke Will 4 says, hey, love your work. You guys are awesome. May I ask for a discount code for Superior, please? Oh, we did have one recently for Superior and um, the boys had to turn it off. I don't know why, but we'll try and sort one out for you again very soon. I actually believe Macca let me in on a bit of a secret. His Shed Life Club in the, um, I believe in that discount booklet, there is still one for Superior, but that's just for the members. I, yeah, maybe check on that. But we'll try and sort one out for you guys again very soon because it was pretty popular and I understand why. Best suspension going around. Another question from Josiah Brumans. Why don't you buy a Patrol for your next car? Well, before I bought this Navara, I wanted a Patrol, remember? Yeah, but you couldn't find one. Problem is, I want, if I ever change a car, I want it. Not a main car, it'd be brand new. It's a solid axle one, GU. 100% um, agree, but... 
in Australia. You can't get that new anymore, unfortunately. Benjamin Dance 72 says, how do you rate the Navara? Just bought a 2023 model and I came from an 80 series. Oh, well, yeah, 20, anything after 2020 I found to be pretty bulletproof. I don't know why some of the old Navaras had a bit of a bad name mechanically um, because, yeah, they had issues. But anything after 2020, everyone I know with the newer models absolutely loves them. I've had no dramas. We're on 63,000 kilometres. Been all around the country. So, yeah, I love it. Hey, do you like it now? Yeah. Better than the Path one? Absolutely better than the Path one. <laughs> There you go, guys. You heard it first. There's another one, though. Tyler underscore Norgate says, do you regret anything about the Nav? The Navara. Uh, I don't think I regret anything. Watch this cow on the road. Oh, bloody cow. Kill. All right, we'll do more questions soon. We are nearly at our first stop. What have you discovered? We're on Colburn Road. Actually, we're just taking a blue track. The aim is to do a few old creek crossings, and I'm going to use new tracks to uh, find them. This little blue one that I've just turned right on and followed around and you have like two green ones. Huli got me onto his app, New Tracks. It's been pretty handy at figuring out where to go. Okay, this one hasn't been driven in some time. It's very overgrown. All right, been down a few tracks. They're all like, they're pretty overgrown. I don't have, I actually don't have anything to cut with at all. I don't even know if you're allowed to cut stuff out here, but like a little bridge and stuff there, but I don't feel like trashing the Navarra too much today, so. Might keep moving, there's a heap of tracks that cross this river, so hopefully we find one eventually that isn't so overgrown, eh? What's the map say? Is there another one? There is, so it kind of links, it's the same one, but it links up. It's a green one now. It just starts like maybe probably two meters. That app was actually a really handy way to work our way through the backcountry here toward Cedar Grove Camp because we've come from a different direction this time and we've got to see a whole other side of the area that I didn't get to see last time. Okay, Stevie has found us a different route to Cedar Grove. We're gonna go camp in the same spot. I went with Mac actually because it has a really nice swimming spot. A uh, little black track to deal with before, but we'll see when we get there. Ready for a black track, Stevie? No. <laughs> <laughs> Never ready. Oh, I shouldn't be too bad. The sharp left, I think, just here somewhere. The tracks out in this area are actually not very hard, so the Navara is the perfect vehicle to come exploring out here. Don't want that. Don't want that. Hole, Stevie. Yeah. Wombat holes. Yeah. Lots of wombat holes. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Watch out, Stevie. Come on down. Be careful of this big gap. Following our track map, it was only about another half an hour to camp driving through this amazing alpine landscape. I've been really enjoying exploring this area lately. Make sure you conduct a plan for your weekend or any time you get off guys. You'll be surprised what even your local area has to offer sometimes. To the accommodation, Stevie Rose. Alrighty, guys, welcome to the campsite for the night. Got our own fire pit and all. Permits have been purchased, time to set up. Actually, do you want to go for a swim first before it gets cold? It kind of half feels cold, eh? Ooh, I feel chilly. How's the belly? Good. <laughs> Sticking out. Is this the way, right way? No, I reckon it's a different one, but we'll no, have a look. No, this is the one. This is on my map. What do you think? In here. This is the swim spot. Oh, nature. How nice is the water sound? We could sit in the rock pool. That way? Or there? Well, you can sit over here in the like, rock pools, or I can swim here last time. I like the sound of the rock pools. <laughs> and he's cold.
doing laps to get warm, I'm assuming. <laughs> if you go in and then when you come out, it's really warm. It's pretty nice, aren't you? Do you, want your, do you want your Crocs? We've been in the car, treacherous adventure through the forest. Like, it's a bizarre one, it's like so cold, but then it instantly is okay. There's a path on the other side, see? What is that like? I don't know. It's what crocs were made for, you know? Yeah, there's a footpath here. Where does it go? It's mighty ass. Thanks so much for watching the episode to this point. And if you haven't subscribed yet, guys, make sure you head over and hit that button. Banging out new videos every single week. If you got any more questions, Stevie, hit me with a question. How is being a full-time YouTuber treating you so far? That's from Highland Kobe. Full-time YouTube. Well, I've been doing it over two years now, and I've got to say, definitely my favourite job yet. <laughs> absolutely incredible. Lots of work, lots of hours, but yeah, all worth it. I absolutely love what I do now. It's amazing. Question from Marcos Finero. How size of tyres? I think <laughs> maybe he means what size of tyres. On the Nissan, I've got... 33s and on my highlights I also have 33s. I used to have 37s on that though. Shannon Hagen, can you do a price breakdown on the 1KD please? Much requested. So once it's all in, finished and it is reliable, so it's all finished definitely, I'll um, work out what it costs to do that. Not exactly cheap, I can tell you that. Sam Isles says hi. Hi Sam. <laughs> Zane Hooper, power goal for the 1KD. I don't really have a goal at all. I've been told 350 is pretty, pretty reasonable expectation though, which is a lot. It's more than max Land Cruiser in a vehicle that's half the weight, so pretty extreme. Nick Vett 240 says, how did you and Mac meet? Through cars. We were had both had low riders on air suspension and we were like showing off to each other, I think. Back when low cars were cool. Yeah, me. When's the next 1KD video from Jackson Murray? Coming very soon, if not after this episode. I'll try and get it out um, Yeah, as soon as possible. Fast bit's the first bit, taking the engine out. Long bit's getting it running and reliable. Reese B1991 asks, what is your must-have when going camping? Great question. What's your must-have? Cooking utensils, pots and pans. Remember that time you forgot them? My must is coffee. I've made the mistake before and it's it really ruins the next morning. That's when you really know you're addicted to coffee. Too, right? <laughs> well, I admit it, 100%. Dylan Ford, 1KD, go. Soot, 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 soot. Will, yeah. Did I do the right noise? <laughs> or is it the, is that, is that the soot, 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 soot? <laughs> Should I put this engine in my LM? Should have done this one too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wife of a Ford driver. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tristan Parsons, 07. What flares do you have on the Lux? Mm, it came with them, so I don't know for sure. I'd say they're just the factory Toyota Surf flares, which is like an SR5 Hilux flare. They're definitely factory from what I can tell. Would you recommend buying an NP300? Yes, if it's newer than 2020. That's I've discovered. Right. Ethan RC1. How much for the LN rig? If you don't know how much the Hilux has set me back, it's a lot considering what it is. Why 1KD, not TD42 from Brady.Owens? Uh, mainly because the engine I went is a very similar weight to what was already in it. If you start putting big, large motors that are heavy in, you ruin the weight of the vehicle a lot. I'm not entirely sure what it 42 actually weighs, but I'm assuming it's a much bigger engine. I did want diesel, um, and we also know K's and Fab Boys who have already done this conversion. There was a few reasons. Luke and 70 has asked, how easy is the 1KD to bolt into the old Lux? Surprisingly easy, because uh, mine was automatic already, but I believe the manual's not that much harder. Um, it bolts straight to the flywheel, and two custom engine mounts that K's and Fab actually make in their kit. Nick Thompson, 1307, next big mod for the NAV. Hmm. I can't imagine there's any more big mods that I could do to the Navara. Josh Grubelik, is a LN worth it? I would say if you are a mechanic or you have a, a vast array of mechanical skills, then yeah, definitely worth it. But if you don't and you want to learn a lot about how to fix LNs, then <laughs> it's also a good choice. But let's be honest, guys, they're very old vehicles. If they're in good condition, incredible. But... Most of them are not and need a lot of work. 
it's just a couple of questions left. When are you coming? When are you coming to the Sydney? Oh no, to Lithgow, so I can show you some Sydney tracks from 20 Triton 19. I would love to come down there as soon as possible uh, when the Hilux is up and running. Lock it in. If money wasn't a problem, what four drive would you get? And the first mod would you do? An issue, I'd think. And if you could get one, V8 76 series, the new shape with the SSM kit from Superior and the eight speed conversion. And I got a last question from Luke Weinert. Did you do a diff drop on the nav? Do not have a diff drop. Mine is actually only a two inch lift. Um, when the weight of the canopy goes on, it um, does lift the front up a bit. So it looks more like a three at the moment, but you know, when it when the tray is unloaded, it's just two inch all around. How did, did you enjoy your weekend this weekend? We've had, we've done a lot. Yeah, it's nice. We went full Gold Coast hotel to camping in Kenilworth. Wait, no, where are we? Amamore. We have certainly not wasted our weekend, guys. We went and saw the king, Fish, at his out to lunch, was it? Yeah, Cool and Gatta out to lunch show. I actually ran into so many people at um, that little festival. Do you like this spot? Yeah. Nice. It's pretty cool. Do you reckon Cedar Creek or Balumba Creek? Uh, I have, I've only ever been to Balumba once. It was a long time ago. You're going to have to say for the crowds, you're definitely going to choose Cedar Creek because there's, there's no one here at the moment. And it's looks a long weekend. It looks bigger than, like, you could keep going down there too. Oh, yeah, Even yeah. if this bit was busy, you could just probably walk down I'd and there's lots of spots. There's heaps more to explore. Oh, it's just not as, you know, crystal blue clear. Jay's sitting up there. Sweet. Fit for princess. My jerry can firewood holder that we've collected yeah, prior. Yeah. Uh, there's not much, it's just a little bit of. Oh, I should worked out the gimbal. Oh, changed my life. How did I not know about this? <laughs> it's what Mac was like when he figured it out. So good. Now everyone is going to ask, how many weeks pregnant are you at the moment? 20 weeks, exactly. 20 weeks, so halfway. Yeah. Guys, we're at the halfway point. <laughs> Has anything changed for you yet? Yeah, I've been, I was sick. Are the kids at school calling you? No, I did tell some of the kids <laughs> at school there. Stevie's a high school teacher, by the way, guys, so she really does cop all sorts of judgment, can we say? <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I've been lucky. They've been nice to me, I think. Some are a bit sad. Angry. Sad? Oh, because you're going to be taking time off. Yeah. The issue. Anyway, this is a whole new season of our life. <laughs> Wish us luck. Um, the aim is to try not to change too much. Obviously, your life changes a lot when you have a child. No beers for this trip. Trying to uh, hold the fort with Stevie. She's not drinking, obviously. That's... Actually, one piece of exciting information is all the hoodies are back on the website, guys. That time of year, I've stopped up. Few people have figured this out already. So be quick, they don't last long. Sweet potato chips. Sweet potato chips, pasta as well. Oh uh, yeah, just a side. Side of pasta. I got our Prado. <laughs> and then we've and got the Parmigiana as well. Parmigiana. I actually forgot, but I had this in here. <laughs> we were stressed out because we thought we had no cutlery, but it was it was all in there. Do forget how well set up the Navara is for camping. Actually, these are available on outbackequipment.com.au. Discount code TJJack5. Store wide. Oh, we've even got the coffees in here, Stevie, for tomorrow. Yeah, you're ready. Make up. What you wanna do? Tell me what you like. What you wanna do? Tell me what you like. What you wanna do? Tell me what you like. Just say the word, baby. I'ma get you right.